Okay, here we go. Let's get a microphone near me. That would help. Hello, everyone. Let's do some quick hellos and welcomes and let me know if the sound is good before we jump into this live stream. Simply tell me uh, where you are and what time of the day it is. It looks as if people are saying hello. So uh, B-Man Entertainment, hello to you. To, hello to you. Uh, Pandy Tech, JAB's Adventures, here we go. Metallic Gamer HD, Man of Hack, hello. Uh, Amanda's Allotments, quite a few regulars here. Uh, let's just all say, before we jump into this uh, live stream as well, a big thank you to Extra Sessions Media, who is going to be moderating this live stream, and I really do appreciate uh, the help he's providing on all the, all of the live streams so far. It's very much appreciated. Uh, and he will just be monitoring the chat and helping me choose channels when we go to the channel review section. So, yeah, before we jump into it, um, hello to Steve W from uh, Newcastle Upon Time. A man, that's my best Jory accent. Uh, Ronke Badeo Joe, hello to you. Time Break Brick. Uh, Dingeblade 8304. Uh, Alamancy TV, Mac Oliver, Imagine, uh, Ego Gok2626. All these strange usernames on YouTube. <laughs> so difficult to follow them all. But uh, yeah, hello to everybody here who's joining. Um, and a couple of things I want to mention first. If you're watching this as a replay, uh, you might just want to fast forward. Uh, to maybe five, ten minutes into the live stream where we will be moving on to the uh, channel reviews. Got a couple of house uh, keeping things that we need to do first. And when you're watching the replay, my advice is to maybe put the speed at one and a half speed or double speed. And that way you can move through the live stream quicker. I'm going to be trying to talk at a fairly slow, relaxed pace. As much to help me as to help you. And um, if you do want to slow it down, by all means, because we've got the chat on here. And I'm hoping that many of you guys are going to be putting in some uh, fantastic uh, constructive criticism for the um, channels that we're going to be reviewing. Because this is how I'm going to do it, hopefully. When we go to start reviewing channels, we're going to have a screen like this. I'm going to disappear, but we're going to have the screen like this. And then you can look at the um, browser and comment as well at the same time. So it would be really much appreciated if you can add some really constructive criticism and uh, positivity about channels. And what we're going to be doing is trying to select channels based on your input into this live stream. Um, how we're that's how we're going to go forward. These are the sort of ground rules that I put in for this first one. Uh, obviously, this is the inaugural pilot edition of channel reviews so if things do go wrong and they probably will i do apologize this is always a learning process and hopefully as i work through these channel reviews which i'm intending to do on a regular basis i'm gonna say probably every week uh, so if you don't get your channel reviewed this week then by all means make sure you keep coming back to the channel reviews week after week and we should be able to get through lots of them um, because a lot of you are really enjoying the brief live um, channel reviews I've done on Friday, so this is why I'm making it into a uh, full series. But just to go through a couple of the ground rules, uh, as I say, I'm going to be picking channels based on contribution in a live stream. So if you're giving us lots of feedback and good things, then we are going to be picking you uh, to uh, review your channel. Now, in this particular live stream, Channel reviews are not going to be t be determined by live um, super chat. So if you do contribute uh, a financial contribution super chat, really appreciate it. Thank you very much for that. But I haven't really developed a system of how I would select those channels. I don't want to give preference to people who are uh, contributing money at this stage. Maybe in the future, but if it's if you give a super chat, brilliant. But that doesn't necessarily guarantee you a channel review. Obviously. I can't review channels with inappropriate language or material on them. So if at any point I see any uh, offensive words, I'm just going to stop the channel review right there and move on to the next one. So please don't suggest your channel if you think it's got 
uh, questionable content or any foul and abusive language in the uh, descriptions, the tags, titles or whatnot. I, it's just not fair on, uh, on viewers here uh, to see such material. I'm going to try and spend between five and ten minutes on each um, channel. So that's probably going to mean we're going to get through between five and ten uh, channel reviews. I'm going to try and do this for about an hour. Uh, and these are the things that I'm going to be looking at when I do the channel reviews. If I just get the correct uh, thing on screen, and it's not that one, there we go. So what I'm looking for when I'm looking at your channel is, I'll be looking at the channel page and seeing if I can identify relatively quickly who should be watching your content as why and why. So let's target audience value proposition. And I'm going to be approaching your channels probably for the first time as a new visitor. So if you're grabbing my attention, then you're probably grabbing the attention of people who visit your channel. I'm going to look at the channel health, see how many videos you're publishing, how many views you're getting, subscribers, if there's any growth going on. Like what's the general branding, like your channel banner, are your thumbnails consistent? And consistency, are you publishing on a regular basis and how long have you been making videos for? I'll be looking at channel layout, so looking at that home page, seeing how your playlists are organized, whether you have a channel trailer. I'm going to be looking at your playlist page, seeing if you are using playlists. A lot of been, people have been talking to me on the vidIQ YouTube channel about how adding playlists to their channel has really made a big difference. Uh, in their channel growth. I'll be looking at thumbnails, seeing if they're consistent, how good they are, if there's any tips I can potentially offer you, and obviously the content. Like, are you jumping from one topic to another, or is it fairly consistent content, looking at your most popular videos, seeing why they were most successful? Then I'll be jumping into your videos themselves, maybe picking one video from your channel and looking at the title, the tags, and the descriptions, seeing if you are uh, putting effort into those as you're uh, working on them, um, making sure that you get the marginal gains from the metadata. And then looking at your audience and engagement, seeing how many comments you get and whether you reply to them, how, how much are you engaging with your content? And then of course, any other points of interest because there's always things that come up which are uh, really late. Hello to you, HD Gamer, another moderator. Thanks for joining in. Uh, so yeah, those are the general things that are on the uh, channel review when I'm gonna be looking at each channel. And uh, by all means, if you think there should be other things that I should be looking at, add them in the chat and I'll try and make sure to look at them in the future. So that's more or less all the uh, housekeeping that I wanted to do. So now we're going to get on to some actual channel reviews. I know you've had to wait almost eight minutes to get there, but uh, let's look at some of your channels. So. To kick us off with the first one, uh, first of all, I'll just ask e Extra Sessions Media, do you have any particular channels that you think uh, may want looking at? Has, has any anyone cropped up in the uh, chat that you may think is an interesting channel to look at? If not, then I'll pose a question to kick us off with the first uh, channel review. Um, if Extra Sessions doesn't get back to us in the next uh, minute. And also HD Gamer as another moderator, this is just for you as well. I'm wanting to pick channels based on feedback in the live chat and whether they're giving a good constructive criticism and uh, positive and a negative aspects of a channel. So yeah, not just channels that are saying, pick me, pick me, pick me, like audiobooks on YouTube, mine, mine, mine. That's not going to necessarily make me want to choose your channel. I'm looking for people who are contributing value. Um, yeah, so Extra Sessions Media has uh, found somebody, so we'll just wait one second while they find that person. And then when he does, it'll be it'll be like this. If I can click the right button, it'll be like that. It'll appear in the background and then I'll disappear and then we'll look at the channel. Uh, do let me know, by the way, if, if this screen is too small and I'll make it full screen. But I just try, want to try and keep a chat up there while we're um, doing it. Um, but uh, that might not work. As I say, this is the first live stream, so things may go right. Okay, simulation with Daniel. Thank you very much. He is going to be the first person we do a channel review on. Let's uh, see if I can find him first of all.
Just bear with me here. Hopefully he should appear when I put in a search this time. There we are. I think I've found him. Okay, so I'm going to disappear. And the next thing you're going to see is... Take me off. Put that there. You should now see simulation with Daniel. Okay, so first things to note immediately as I uh, see this channel is... Uh, we have four and a half thousand subscribers. And if we just have a look at the about page, we'll find out that it has a million views. So that's a, a good view count for a relatively small number of subscribers. It's been around for four years now. And we'll go back to the homepage now. And so these are the immediate things that I can see from the channel um, layout. He's got a channel trailer, which is good. It's uh, about a minute long, which is about the uh, perfect channel trailer size um, length. You don't want it, be t want it to be too long. Uh, you're just trying to grab the view of some uh, really good content, maybe a quick introduction about yourself. Um, so we're pretty happy about that. What else can we see? Let's have a look at the channel banner. Uh, simulation with Daniel, new video every Saturday. So he's uh, clearly stating there some level of consistency. And you can immediately see what type of channel this is. It's got something to do with Minecraft. Not too sure what it is to do with Minecraft. There's so many Minecraft channels about, and that's a pretty hard um, area to break into, quite a saturated market. So we'll just have a look at the About page as well, again. Look at the uh, description. Uh, welcome to Simulation with Daniel, a gaming channel full of simulation games. I love to share games with you, such as Minecraft, Stardew. Okay, so he does cover other games as well as Minecraft. Um, but we, we don't really see that on the channel banner. So maybe you need to update your description or um, you do cover other games. Let's have a look a bit more at your layout and see if we can find that information out a bit more. I keep plugging in the wrong speakers. There we go. Plugged in my microphone now. Right, so we can see here that Simulation with Daniel is doing stuff with his playlist, which is good to see. It's not just the recently uploaded and most popular playlist. There's plenty of different things going on here. Um, and a viewer can quickly look at the channel and find specifically uh, what to do. For example, here, Minecraft sketch, what to do when bored. That's a fairly enticing, interesting title that you, uh, you may want to uh, visit there, which is good. So popular, popular uploads and recent activities, creative playlists. They're further down the list, which I think is, is good. You've still kept them in the page, uh, but they're not necessarily the main thing. It looks as if what you've done here quite intelligently is put your most popular playlist at the top here, Survival Islands. I may be wrong about that, but judging by the size of your subscriber base, which is 4,000, and your viewer base, 9,000, 5,000, 2,000, uh, that seems pretty good to me. Although you've got the time-lapse ones here, which are even more popular. Uh, Minecraft time-lapse, that's quite an interesting title. You're immediately thinking this is going to be some quick builds, which are quite entertaining to watch. Maybe you want to put that playlist at the top. But we're talking about very small changes here. Go to the playlist next and just see how many playlists you've got. Uh, so it looks as if it's all pretty much Minecraft. I can't see any Clash Royale stuff or the other games you mentioned other than Stardew. So maybe you want to change your, update your description a little bit. It seems you've put all your eggs into the Minecraft bag basket. But plenty of um, playlists here and I assume that you're regularly adding to these playlists. There's one here with 21 videos, 7 videos, 13. So lots of good stuff going on here, um, which is uh, good work here. We'll look at the channel stats here. Hopefully this does work. Um, this is one of the newer tools from vidIQ, and it shows you the channel tags. Uh, so we uh, Daniel's using like Minecraft time-lapse. So you might want to put... Uh, oh, you have done. Good. So you put Minecraft time-lapse as a tag as well. All good stuff. Um, now, obviously, the, uh, the revenue, that's an estimated one, so that's not going to be always accurate. Hopefully, when I click on here, it will show me the a bit more detail on, on the growths. So this is over the last month, 
and we can see some very good view counts here, like 15,000, 12,000, 7,000. So this is awesome view counts for a channel of 4,500 subscribers, like way above the actual subscriber count. So it means that his videos are reaching a wider audience and his subscriber base, which is fantastic, really, really good stuff. And the view, the, the view growth has been fairly consistent. So that's good, consistent stuff here. Uh, we'll go to the subscriber base. Uh, subscriber base is, again, fairly consistent. Looks as if you had a video that was quite popular uh, a couple of days ago there, Daniel. So well done. And again, consistent growth. You haven't published that many videos in the last uh, month. And it tends to be a bit sketchy looking at it here. Uh, you say that you post videos every Saturday, but it doesn't quite look as if you're doing that. You're posting more than one every Saturday, obviously, but it looks like you're maybe doing one every two or three days or when you can fit it in. So you might want to change your schedule a bit or stack up videos. And then you may say, I post a video every Wednesday and Saturday and then start, put some videos like in your back catalog ready to launch. And then we'll just go to the six month here. This is, I think this is a free tool, by the way, Channel Analytics. Um, it's just not showing a graph, which is unfortunate. But what we can see now is that Daniel experienced some significant growth in November and he's been able to maintain that, which is brilliant work. So um, we'll try and see what video did that. But you've managed to maintain that growth and then capitalize on it. And you can see the, the upwards curve here, which is brilliant work. So... I think this is all really good stuff here, Daniel, and I'm, I'm very impressed um, with your channel, to be honest. Let's uh, ha now have a look at the videos in a bit more detail. Um, what are your thoughts on the thumbnails here? Um, I would say that you've got consistency. Uh, so Minecraft time lapse, um, part whatever it is. You might want to try and make this uh, title a little more bold. You could do that with maybe putting a stroke on the text. That means it gives it a border and maybe some uh, shadow and possibly change the color because Minecrafting has a lot of oranges and browns and sometimes they disappear or like an orange and a blue, it kind of disappears into the background. Like here it's fine on black, but you may just want to switch your... the the words on the thumbnail so that they contrast well with the background. Um, but, I mean, look at this. We've got 8,000 views, 6,000 views, 5,000 views. Like All of them are, are above your, um, your subscriber base, which is absolutely fantastic. It's really brilliant. And what I would do is I would include... You have your channel trailer here. I would include this apple maybe in all of your thumbnails. Give it some branding. You can put it maybe in the bottom left-hand corner because the red seems to stick out really well on all the thumbnails, which are a different color palette anyway. Especially on the blue ones, um, it would really look good in the in the bottom right, maybe or the bottom left. So maybe consider including that. But generally, I think your thumbnails are, are, are good. Sometimes I guess it's a little difficult to show what you're building on time lapses. So you might want to show the finished article on the time lapse. I'm never quite sure what you're building here, but presumably there might be a, a view of like of the outside. Um, for example, just even though this one has got some great views, it's probably because of the, the I would guess, the title. But we can't really see what you're building here in the thumbnail. So that may be one small thing that you could change. But it's difficult to argue that considering it's your most popular video of the week, certainly of the last of the last few weeks. But those are maybe just little things I would change. Okay, um, let's look at... Let's just jump into this video then and see what makes it so good. I'm going to let it run for 15 seconds. That probably wasn't the best idea because the video is going a bit jerky, but... So we've got an introduction with a title. You've got your likes and subscribes, have no problem with that. And then enjoying and you're straight into it. Now, I assume 
there's a, going to be a lot of repeat viewers coming back to watch your videos and they kind of get the idea that you're not messing around too much with intros. You're just jumping straight into uh, whatever you're doing, which is working for your channel. Usually I might have some sort of specific intro or I might quickly introduce what I'm going to build or maybe have some highlight at the start of a video, maybe showing the finished product, like just maybe for a few seconds to tease what you're building, but it's working for you. So I don't necessarily have a problem with that. And I like the fact that the video just jumped straight in there without any messing about. Let's have a look at your uh, description in Minecraft time lit time lapse survival island part three so right here we have some good keywords that you just jump in dumping straight into the beginning of a title which is brilliant i really like that chess room uh, enchanting table I, I i don't know much about minecraft but i can assume that these are from minecraft armor stand these are all good words about minecraft that you're um, that you're putting into the beginning of your description but you're not stuffing them in there. It's part of a um, title, which is which is good. And then we go down to the tags where we have a what I would call a beautiful blend of short keywords and long keywords, like Minecraft Survival Island. Obviously, not many people are searching for that, but you're dominating those keywords. And Minecraft Survival Island, Minecraft Time Lapse, and that's all looking excellent to me. And then you've got the smaller. Uh, keywords such as Minecraft, Time Lapse, Survival. You might want to think about putting some of the tags like the number one rank tag there at the top and Chess Room at the top. Now that those tags are ranking well. But again, these are very small things. I, you've certainly done a lot of homework with your tags. So that's brilliant. Um, the SEO score is good. Let's have a look at your engagement rate now. So from 8,000 views, you're getting uh, 238 likes. So I would expect maybe a few more um, likes and dislikes than that. My The ratio tends to be about 10 to 1 or 20 to 1. On So like for every 10 views, you'll get one like maybe. So that maybe needs to be a little higher. You could encourage that by having a more striking uh, like logo. So let's see, if I just play this again, you do say like this video, but you might want to put a, maybe a Minecraft built thumb, thumbs up there and a Minecraft built subscribe, just to make it a little more enticing to the viewer. But again, we're, we're, we're nitpicking really. These are, these are all just small minor modifications. The general channel is, is brilliant. Comments wise, you've pinned your own comments. And you're asking, so here's a good thing. You're asking questions. You've done a poll in the video. You also added a better outro, so we'll look at that in a second. Um, I'm happy with people pinning their own comments if they want to do that. No problem. Let's see, you, you loving, you're giving hearts to certain comments. Well, as many comments as you can, which is good. I'll just pick a few. It looks like you're replying to comments. Yeah, you're replying to comments. So I think... Daniel, you're doing all the basics and some of the more advanced stuff exceptionally well here. And because of that, I'm going to like this video. I think it's it's brilliant. Uh, you've got good video length as well. So people tend to say that they should have uh, videos at least 7 to 10 minutes long. And these time lapse, one, time lapse ones seem to work really well. Uh, I'm just trying to find your outro. Let's see if we can find it here. Here we go. So you just put the end cards on there. I'm not sure what, what you've done in the outro per se, but you've got the end cards there and the subscribe button. Uh, that all seems fairly good to me. Let me just see what you do for your video cards. So you've done two video cards here. You may want to add one more. You've obviously got your time-lapse survival playlist. Fine, but hell, why don't you just uh, suggest some other videos from your uh, collection as well? You've got five cards to play with. Go for it. Let's just say yes on the music. Uh, it looks as if many people are liking your music. So I would give you a, let's see if I can get myself on there. I would give your channel a massive thumbs up there, a simulation with Daniel. You're doing some excellent things there. I mean, the, the growth of it over the last two or three months has been exceptional. 
You're getting 300,000 views a month at the moment, which is fantastic. And the subscriber count is slowly building. Maybe if you wanted to try and get more subscribers in, you might want to do some personal to camera pieces and just maybe talk to your audience directly sometimes because I'm not sure if you do much talking. There seems to be, it seems to be music and time lapse. That doesn't always work when you can't hear or there's no personality on the channel, but maybe give give it a give it a go. I again I'm not sure if it's anything specifically there, but there we are. So I hope you found that useful and I was completely wrong with how long it was going to take to review. That was a 15 minute channel review there. Um, but I, I hope you found that useful and yeah, I'm, I hope there's been some fantastic advice being given in the chat. I've not really been able to follow it too um, quickly, uh, too much, because uh, it's quite a focused thing when I'm looking at the uh, web web page. But uh, Extra Sessions Media or HD Gamer, if you've got another channel lined up where you think there could be some good, um, some good channel review, let me know. Uh, the Doberman guy has been on. Okay, well, well, let's have a look at the Doberman guy next. Thank you very much. Uh, and by the way, um, moderators, if if you're like going, whoa, my head's exploding here, you can take a rest. Don't worry, I will take charge if you're struggling, and I really do appreciate uh, you you helping here. And I've just got to try and find the Doberman channel because that's not come up immediately. Oh, the Doberman guy. That's probably why he hasn't come up. And it would help if I spelt his name right, because I've completely misspelled the name. Okay, the Doberman guy. Uh, I need to confirm this is your channel first. Can you just confirm in the chat, the Doberman guy, that this is your channel before we jump into it? I think, all right, I can see your avatar, and yes, it matches. Okay, right, let's get into the Doberman guy. So, we have a cartoony uh, channel banner, the Doberman guy. I guess it's about Doberman dogs, and if I say anything stupid from the in the next 10, 15 minutes, it's because I don't know anything about Dobermans. Um, but seems fairly clear what your channel's about. Let's have a look at the about page dogs are awesome hmm yes they are awesome i do like dogs but i think you probably need to add a bit more to your description like you may want to tell us like are you a doberman breeder is this a vlog about raising and looking after a dogs of a particular breed i think you're missing here certainly something in your description and you may want to um uh fluff it up a bit more and try and add a bit more information about about what your channel's about. Again, the Doberman guy, like you, I, you could mistaken this for a a cartoon about a, which is called the Doberman guy, just from the lack of information. Yes, when you go to your homepage, you can see that you can uh, see that it is, it is clearly, uh, a channel about real dogs and not, not a cartoon, but kind of threw me a little bit there. Let's see then. So uh, the channel layout, uh, you have vlog as your playlist. I'm not too much of a fan of these big playlist pages, which um, add the channel with the video description and the video itself. I'm not sure why that's there to me. So that seems like it's in a little weird layout. You... You probably want to add a channel trailer if you can do. Um, popular uploads at the top. Yeah, I'd get in a channel trailer if you can before adding any playlists. Dogs in slow motion. That's going to be an interesting one to look at. Um, that's caught my, my eye already as a playlist. But I can see again that you've put some effort into your channel layout. You've certainly created a lot of playlists, which is good. Uh, let's have a look at the channel stats. You say you're a small channel, you have 130 subscribers, and you have 
uh, yeah, it looks as if there's not even enough detail to give us any um, stats on your channel. Maybe add a few more channel tags as well. So uh, we'll jump straight into the, uh, let's just jump straight to the um, playlist first. So you have four playlists, uh, funny dogs, funny dog moments. Those always go, always go down well on YouTube. Dogs in slow motion. I'm going to, I'm specifically wanting to go to that one just because it interests me. Uh, let's have a look at your videos in general now. So each video roughly gets between 50 and 200 views, I'm going to say. So again, compared to your subscriber base, that's that's good. It's solid. The thumbnails, I think, are generally very good. So uh, like we were talking to Simulation Daniel in a previous video, uh, previous channel review, uh, some channel branding was good and Doberman's got it here with a little uh, avatar in the top left hand corner. I like that. And this is a perfect example. This is complementing the previous channel quite well in that this this has got really clear fonts so you can really read the text in the title very well, which I like. To me, there looks to be some sort of effect going on here, like a, a dark bleed from the left hand side, which is maybe killing a bit of your screen thumbnail. This may be personal opinion, but I'm not sure I like that. Certainly in some thumbnails, there's a bit too much contrasting of dark, like here on this one, we have this dark bleed and then the the dog itself is kind of, it's, it's a dark head. And so we'd, I think we're just losing a little bit of potential there in the thumbnail. And like this is a good one because you've got a good contrast contrast of light and dark. And I'm saying that and that's one of the videos that doesn't have as many views. But I like that thumbnail more than others. Some are a little lacking focus a little bit. Like the sky is falling here. But we see a again a dark bleed here, and the, the picture of a chicken is fairly small. But uh, the general photo quality is good. Like this is a good one. That the, the dog really stands out in this one. And yes, we do have a person in the background, but they're blurred out, which is which is good. So I it's kind of like a six or a seven out of ten on the thumbnails. It's just a few things that. I would maybe change, but in saying that, I'm sure there's people who look at my thumbnails and they have uh, constructive criticism about them. So sometimes it is about personal taste. Let's have a look at your most popular video because you're a small, smaller channel and we need to find out which videos have been successful. So we've got one here, which is far and away your most successful video. Heartshin Touching mo touching reunion of a seventh of Doberman and owner. So I think here is a message about your videos probably need some story behind them, some emotional attachment. We're talking about dogs and many people get can be very protective and get love their dogs and it becomes a very emotional thing and it, there's a story behind it. And Compared to maybe ones where you're doing training or a conversation, I think there's, there's a, certainly a valuable message in this um, title, which works. And I can see why it's done well. So let's jump into that one in a bit more detail and see why potentially it did well. Unfortunately, I don't speak Portuguese, so I can't translate any of this. But you're using some uh, emotional music, and I can see that you're very, you've very much set up a story there. And it's two minutes long as well, so it's I think it's one of your shorter videos. 
So that might be significant as well. Looking at the likes and the comments, this is something that's always interesting. You only have 25 likes and a relatively small amount of likes versus the view count. So I think this video has been shared externally somewhere, which means that it's a, it's a, makes it a bit little more difficult to judge the video. But it's good. Oh, I also notice here you've got the um, watermark YouTube subscribe button, which is good. I like that. Tag wise, you are uh, you are using a combination of long tail key ones like this one, heart touching reunion of a seventh month Doberman and owner. Yet you're definitely going to dominate that keyword, but I just don't think many people are going to be searching for it. But that's not a bad thing. Lost Doberman, that's probably does have more search volume on it, and that is ranking, so that's good. And it's a fairly decent amount of tags, so I have no problems there. And when you do have people commenting on your videos you are definitely replying so some good stuff here but i know you, you you're probably wanting to ask the question yeah there's some good stuff going on here but i'm a, a relatively small channel so how can i um improve that and i guess the answer is that maybe more of these what videos that have some sort of personal connection and story you may be doing that in other videos but it's maybe more difficult to see because of the titles. They're maybe not selling the video properly. Whereas I jumped immediately to this one, probably as others did because of the the title, which really works there. Uh, so maybe consider that. And I think sometimes your thumbnails just need a bit more clarity. Sometimes like that's that's a good thumbnail to me it's it's a lot less cluttered whereas uh this one the the dog is tiny and and i know there's a person there and you're talking about dog dog obedience but they probably need to be pointing or doing an action which indicates obedience and that's where you sometimes thumbnails become can become a bit of a nightmare because you're spending ages thinking about how to build this thumbnail uh so yeah just a couple of things there and maybe think about repeating the success from this video. If you can find some way of producing videos that have a story behind them and really sell it well in the in the video title. Now, just before we go any further, I did want to see at least one of these dogs in slow motions. If they if this it truly is dogs in slow motion, but it doesn't look as if Oh, there we are. So here, here's a bit of slow motion stuff. I would almost be tempted, if you're going to do these dogs in slow motion ones, don't have any intro or anything. Just jump straight into it. I think this is one of those things where people just want to see clips of something specific and get straight into it. Like you've got... I'm just looking at the intro here. There's 15 seconds of intro that's possibly not required. Or start with a slow motion video, but it's like a, a teaser intro and then go into a, a, an intro. So yeah, just a couple of things like that. But yeah, dogs in slow motion, jumping over things, running. I'm sold on that. Okay, that is the Doberman. And again, I appreciate anybody who's posting feedback and comments in the chat. And I hope you found, uh, appreciate the, the comments there, Doberman. I think your video quality is good. Your thumbnails are of a high quality. Um, but maybe the message is sometimes a lost on the video, on the on the selling of a video. Um, so maybe think about that. And of course, from another perspective, the Doberman, Doberman Dogs on YouTube is probably a very niche area. And... Have you searched for other channels that are looking specifically at Dobermans and how successful are they? It may be that the the audience could be uh, difficult to find. All right, let's move on to the next channel review. We're 40 minutes in and we've only done two channel reviews. Um, but at least you can say that I'm very thorough on the reviews that I'm giving. Um, let's see... A HD Gamer is saying, what can we use to get good thumbnails? Obviously, vidIQ has its own thumbnail editor where you can choose a frame and then add text onto it. Um, most people use Photoshop and they just have to... They just have to exp 
practice with it and just it just takes a long time it's the same as making a video really you just have to learn over time about doing thumbnails and and look at tips on thumbnails right uh, i did see extra sessions media's post there which was danny likes pizza and now this is a big channel uh, so this is going to be one of those where i'm giving Welcome advice back, to a channel which has a lot more subscribers than me so i hope you don't uh take uh, i hope you take some of this with a pinch of salt if you've got more subscribers so it's going to be interesting to uh, give you some feedback on your channel and hopefully it's um not too controversial and we can go through many aspects of your channel right so danny likes pizza let's first of all find out how long he's been doing this because he's got 162 million views started only three years ago as well so that's pretty incredible stuff 723,000 subscribers and he likes pizza hey i'm donny i make videos every day ranging from vlogs to reaction videos so here's something where you may look at this and say well this description seems a bit plain what does i like pizzas mean why have we got a channel banner here of uh, some stars what, that doesn't tell me anything about the channel really uh, why do you preach about all these things rob in vidIQ about d doing all this when uh, danny likes pizza pizza clearly isn't doing this and i can probably guarantee you that this channel is mostly about the personality and the strength of his the content in his videos Let's have a look at the layouts. Welcome back, guys. It's about to go down. Try I'm just going to let this trailer shot. run. Like, it sounds easy. We're going to watch crazy videos. And if you look and away, you lose. Stop it in a couple guys. of seconds, and I'll Try give you some sleep. things about this. Ah! Yay. Ah! Nice. That scroll dodge everybody, guys. Can't mm. catch him ever. That scroll's awesome. Okay, he's texting attire. Okay. In the first 15 seconds, I'll just play that again and I'll just mute it. Just watch these first 15 seconds again and look at how much editing and clipping of the um, footage and effects are going on here. This is like the perfect intro for the audience of Danny Likes Pizza's videos. It's fast, high octane. There's all sorts of stuff going on there and you're immediately attracted to it like a big piece of um like almost like one of your showpiece part clips from the videos at the very beginning and that's a way to really bring in the audience and keep them there and i imagine that you, it looks like you're doing reaction videos and that's something that probably a lot of viewers are used to that's probably part of your content let's have a look at the rest of your channel you've got plenty of playlists challenge videos looks like you've been doing some music videos now that's just music you've added to a playlist but there's lots of uh, stuff going on here we'll have a look at the uh, channel stats see if that brings up some interesting stuff so six million views over the last month Fairly consistent, one or two dips, but nothing to worry about there. 200,000 uh, daily views, which is phenomenal. Subscriber count is at 600 average, so doing pretty well there. Let's have a look at your stats over the last six months. See if there's any been any big changes. No, pretty consistent stuff going on there. And just that doesn't mean zero, by the way. It just means that that's the lowest view count we have on the channel at a million um and a fairly consistent total view growth there and subscriber growth again so this channel is just consistently performing well little jump up there in october let's have a look at the videos themselves now so i think you can immediately see what the big thing danny likes pizza uses on his videos and that is emojis they are fairly prominent so that's although that's not specific branding on this channel that kind of does identify the video that there's a 
let's see, there is a thumbnail in, uh, there's a, an emoji in every one of those thumbnails bar one, which is this one. And we've also got uh, facial reactions, which always go well on YouTube thumbnails. And I'm going to try and make, I'm going to make a, a statement here. And I may be wrong about this, but there's, there's almost like a, a bit of an amateur feel to the thumbnails, but it's almost as if it's done on purpose. Like this one here, there's quite a lot of YouTube fundamentals that are being ignored here, like a, a lot of text and like lots of different colors and uh, it, it's a bit cluttered and jumbled, but I think that is done on purpose and that is a theme throughout the thumbnails. And again, I think this is more to do about the personality of the channel as opposed to following YouTube 101. So I don't think we're going to get... The, what what you're going to have to do on this channel review is probably watch some of the videos in length to understand why they're so popular. So now we can see... These are the most popular videos done in the last two years. And so maybe there is something to look at for you here, Danny Likes Pizza. Your most popular videos seem to have this title on the top. Again, you still had your reaction, you still had the emoji, but the thumbnails were a lot clearer as well. Uh, so may why maybe have you gone away from those thumbnails? Might be a question there. And no auto tune seems to be a popular. These these themes, these um, series, no auto tune, and it's impossible. Seem to be your most popular videos. So maybe there was a reason you stopped making videos on those themes, like the the trend just died away, and you had to change it. But I can see some subtle differences here, which you may want to look at. And obviously, when you uh, using a very popular musical artist. Probably you did the video around about time she was releasing a new single, maybe, and you really hit a trending topic there. So that's a good reason. I, I wonder if that was one of your breakout videos and then you, you followed on with others. But yeah, I think with the, with the, the definite shift here, like your most popular videos, the thumbnails are, are a little more professional. And I think the clearer, and I like this this bold text. Whereas your most popular, your most recent ones, there's a little less work going into them, and your view counts are way down as well. Just noticing that. So you, yeah. So this is interesting. You got seven hundred and fifty thousand subscribers, but some of these videos are only getting three thousand, nine thousand. So what's happened to your audience? It looks as if something's happened here. They've all they've all moved away to other channels. I'm not sure what's going on there. So that's something to consider. I'll look at the most re uh, one of your most recent videos and take a look. Did you take a break from your channel? Maybe that was, that's the reason. But for whatever reason, something's gone uh, a little downhill on your channel. It feels, but you're still getting lots of views and subscribers. So I'm guessing that what's happening is that you're still getting a lot of traffic on your older videos, but not necessarily on your current videos. In fact, we should be able to check that by using the um, trending tool from vidIQ. This will should show us which videos are popular now on your channel because it does it by views per hour. So uh, two months, three months, a year ago, a year ago. So these are all your popular videos that are still doing well now. And so it, what I guess what it might be worth doing, the problem is I think you're, you're probably trying to do videos that uh, when 
the person in question on your video is trending. So it can be hit and miss. But, it, but yeah, I mean, it, it definitely shows here with these types of thumbnails, with this title at the top, and whatever theme you were looking at in those particular videos, those are the ones which are, which are the more popular ones. So it would be interesting to know why that changed. Let's have a look at this one, which is doing really well at the moment. It's uh, getting around about 8,000 views an hour. It looks like you've disabled uh, engagement stats. Okay, so there's, there's things going on here that I can't really explain because your comments are disabled, your likes and dislikes are not viewable. So there's some sort of I, possibly controversy going on or it's got a negative reaction. So maybe you're producing uh, videos that create controversy. So there's themes here going on and we're never going to get the full picture in a, a channel review. But I hope I've given you some useful information on the changes in your thumbnails and the evergreen content that was, that's doing well now. And maybe you can look at, back at those videos and think, how can I replicate this success? Whether it was the um, auto tune or it's impossible series, which seems to be popular and you've moved away from that. But I don't think we're going to get too much more information here because we can't get the full picture because there's something going on which I don't have the full answers to. So I think we'll stop the channel review there on that one and I hope you, you do find it useful. But at the same time, you've got 750,000 subscribers. Um, your channel is do has done awesomely well in the past, maybe not quite at the same pace it was before. And there's going to be probably everyone on this live stream is going to be saying, well, I wish I could get 1,000 views in four hours or uh, 10,000 views in three days. Okay, so yeah, good job, Danny Likes Pizza. And yeah, mate, if you can, just look at some of the things that aren't quite right there with your recent videos. Okay, I'm ready for another channel review if HD Gamer or Extra Sessions Media. Actually, no, i tell you who I'm going to do next because I've just seen him on the chat and I must admit I stole one of his, um, stole some information from him on... It's not that. What is it? I'll, I'm you just need to post the game, Kids vs. Dads. I want to do your channel next as a review. But I can't remember what your channel name was specifically. Some it's Kids vs. Dads and Toys. He's contributed a lot in previous um, videos, and I want to really do it right. Okay, Kid vs. Kid versus Dad Gaming. Oh, is it? Kids v. Dad. Right, we'll see if we can find it. And I know we've done 50 minutes. I was, I did say we we're going to do an hour, but forget that. Let's do longer. I, I'm happy to do some more. If I can find your channel. This is one of the difficult things. You may need to, right, okay. I'm just going to have to have a look at the live stream here to find your channel. So bear with me. And I'm going to put my lovely face on screen while I find your channel. You may have to amuse yourselves for a few uh, seconds. Maybe one of my moderators can juggle or sing a song, something along those lines that would really help. But the only way to properly find a channel is to go to the live stream and quickly visit it, if I can find it. So bear with me, folks. Hopefully we should have this sorted out within the next minute. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
See how seamless that was. Okay, kids versus dad. The channel has 387 subscribers. You have 7,000 views. And he started in October 2016. And the first thing I'm going to say is I love this channel banner. It gives you all the information about your channel, really. You're clearly looking at consoles, video games. There's a competitive nature to it. You're telling us exactly when you post your videos. You're telling us exactly what videos they are. Well, if you're a gamer, you'd know that's, that's Mario Kart. That's Mario something. Uh, okay, we're not... Uh, is that Rocket League? Well, put it this way. There's a schedule here, and people who... Your audience are probably going to know exactly what these games are. So that's brilliant. I'm going to let the channel um, intro run for just a little while. See what we get from here. To kids, we dad. The family friendly gaming channel. Where us and you guys take on our dad, loser Andy, at a range of different games. Together we can show him how awful he is. How rude! We feel the difference. That's a fantastic baseball cap. Every week. From budget mobile games to the latest Nintendo releases. And I will also say you know we how to use a green screen. Some retro classics. We play games you suggest in the comments too. You can catch new videos on Monday And some fancy Friday effects with the sunglasses. I wouldn't be if able to like do that. If you like the idea of beating the grown up at loads of different games. Then subscribe to our channel and watch it happen every week. I would say that's a perfect channel trailer. Quick, fast, tells you exactly about what your channel's, a, channel's doing. So a good message there. Target audience is clearly identified. A value proposition is clearly there. I would say that's perfect. A big description here as well. Uh, we are Kids vs. Dads, Loser Andy, and this channel is all about beating Dad, uh, Loser Andy, at any game we can find. So that pretty much describes the channel in uh, one sentence, which is perfect. We'll have a look at the channel layout here. Welcome We've already seen the intro, the trailer. So I'm guessing you're maybe putting your most popular... Playlist at the top, is Rocket League the most popular one? Looks to be. Splatoon, Nintendo, retro games here. I remember my first game. I actually remember when you bought a Nintendo Entertainment System in the 1980s, you would get Mario and Duck Hunt with the system. And a zapper. So have a look at the playlists. Loads of playlists. Probably need to clean out the playlist a little bit. You've started some playlists, but you've only you've not followed through, like with Zelda and Challenge and Sonic Mania. But adding playlists is good. I I talk about adding playlists and creating playlists is like creating new content ID. So like if you upload a video on Monday and then create a playlist on Tuesday to YouTube. That's two pieces of new content, which is good. Let's have a look at your videos in general now. And we can see that there's a lot of efforts being put into these thumbnails. They're very highly, the producer a high quality you can tell what's going on in most of them. You haven't got your your brand in there, Kids vs. Dad, so it might be worth putting it in one of the corners. And there is, I would say, a, a one problem with these thumbnails in that, yes, you spent a, a good amount of time making them, but they're very same and similar. You've used the same thumbnail template and just changed the text. And that sometimes doesn't always work. Um, these two, for example, are exactly the same thumbnail. So we've only got the title really to distinguish between the two. And then Rocket League. So what's going on here? Was that like a trailer for this one?
And like another thing you may want to consider, you've done it in some videos, is that you've put yourself in a video and there's a reaction. But again, you've just done a copy and paste job on the thumbnails. And I know you're thinking, yeah, thumbnails take a long time to make. But that's, you have the biggest opportunity of drawing your an audience into your content is through the thumbnail. And sometimes if somebody's looking at a thumbnail at a glance, they might think, well, I've already watched this video or uh, it, it's just more of it, more of exactly the same. Maybe uh, I don't need to watch this. And especially on this Mario Kart one, it's, it's, it's very cluttered. So we don't really know what we're looking at here. I mean, you say in your, your video channel and your channel blowing is kids versus dad. There, I think there should be a lot more thumbnails with you, with your kids and your dad in whatever reaction was caused from the video. Now that might mean having to stand in front of a green screen and taking a hundred different reaction poses in, over the course of an afternoon. I've certainly done that for vidIQ where I'm just doing different things like pointing or yeah, let me just put myself on webcam here. I this this will sound ridiculous to anybody who's never done this, but yeah, I just spent probably an afternoon doing and just taking photos and just getting a library of reactions for when I was going to use them in thumbnails. So yes, the thumbnails are good in themselves, but I don't think they represent your videos well enough, each individual video. And you may want to think about tweaking the titles, like it's uh, Rocket League, uh, Rocket League, Rocket League. Maybe you want to put in a more enticing title to begin with, uh, like who will win at Rocket League this time? Just maybe mix things up. Like your, so your consistency, you are doing uh, videos a lot. So you are doing one, what looks to be every day. You're keeping to your schedule, which is good. Uh, let's have a look at the most popular video, which is uh, one from Dan TDM. Uh, Let's have a look. Have you borrowed some video from him or uh, have you done your hello? own? Hey, how's it going? Your own commentary on this? Not sure. He was our killer first well, it looks like he's done maybe a, a mashup or a montage. Which is good. That's not, that's not necessarily breaking copyright if you are using it as in, in that sense. So yeah, your most popular. I've I've already switched to most popular uploads, haven't I? Yeah, most popular ones. Like there's different reactions in these videos, as you can see, and that when the family's in there, there's a few more views. I can imagine at this point you're finding a bit of a struggle that you're working really hard on your content, especially I can see from the thumbnails and the titles, and you're not getting that many views at the moment. And I think you just need to... So the Sonic Mania one, that's your most popular video, but it looks as if you only ever did one video on it. Let's have a look at why that one did slightly better than all the rest of them. Oh. And this is an opportunity to see the intro. Hi guys, and welcome to our live stream. As you can tell, I that's am like, already This is a live stream. Blindfolded. To complete Sonic the first one. <laughs> so you're trying to complete Sonic blindfolded in one eye. That's uh, an Sonic. interesting challenge. Yeah, so, I think. And you're gonna see. That needs to be promoted more in this. your video titles, Especially definitely. If you're gonna be doing boss, a wacky challenges, so, well, the, the then you need to sell that more in your videos. I think. Definitely. Uh, tag wise, here there's probably not enough tags. You definitely need more tags and maybe longer tail keywords like. One could be trying to play Sonic Blindfolded or Blindfolded Gaming. Maybe thinking more about the tags that you can put together um, in in each of your videos because there's, there's not enough there. So I'd also work on your tags. As you, looks as if you're doing having some good growth in the last couple of uh, weeks. So you're 
growing at 2000%, which is, <laughs> which is excellent work. So what I would summarize here is that the content appears to be good. The thumbnails themselves are, are good, but they're not selling your content accurately. Like this one here, you have a blindfold on. We get an idea of what's happening here. You're trying to play a game blindfolded, whereas the ambiguous thumbnail with text we really don't know what's going on there so maybe maybe that would help and i just wish you the best of luck because at the moment the channel is small 100 100 uh subscriber 300 subscribers and a couple of thousand views but it, it deserves so much more and I wish you the absolute best luck there, kids at Versus Dad Gaming. And I know you've contributed lots of the VidIQ videos, and I, I really do appreciate it. So I hope you appreciate uh, the feedback that we, we've given there. And good luck with it. Let me know how you get on if you decide to tweak your thumbnails and your content. I'm just going to see if there was anything else of, uh, that we could maybe suggest. Yes, I, I, I think when there's a ver variety on the thumbnails, when they're not just the same, that is m certainly more appealing, appealing to subscribers. If you're just seeing the same thumbnail over and over again, it can get a bit boring. Uh, but And another thing is that you're waiting for maybe that that video that is far ex exceeds anything you've done in the past in terms of it maybe gets 5,000 views or 10,000 views. And it's just because you nailed that particular game you might want to maybe look at some more recent games retro gaming can work but that's gaming is such a saturated market it's always difficult to um, give specific advice on how you can break into gaming other than exactly what you're doing i think you've got a unique concept so just keep at it and uh best of luck with that okay uh we're going to do another channel review now I'll just wait for Extra Sessions Media or HD Gaming to suggest one, and uh, I will review it. I'm just going to disappear for 20 seconds, so I may go on mute, uh, but hopefully we should. Sabi BG. Okay, let's just load up that page. BG. No, I've spelt it wrong. That's not going to find anything, is it? Assume that's the right channel, so we'll look at that one. And I'm just going to be back in 20 seconds. Okay, back. I assume this is the right channel. It is Savvy BG, 29,000 subscribers. Your Indian Abroad, interviews, pranks, and skits. So, pretty clear value proposition there. And I like the uh, little pitch don't miss weekly videos. Click the bell and subscribe button. Nothing wrong with doing that. You've got some good branding here. Obviously, spent a bit of time doing, I've forgotten what these, these pixel pictures are called now uh, but that's good let's have a little check on your channel been going for three years three and a half million views and let's have a look at your channel stats ah it's working completely now which is good right is this in the last month because it looks as if your channel has just seen some significant growth so you tend to have some spiky experiences. One video may go viral, be shared a lot, and then taper away. Uh, we'll try and find out what that video is and see if there's an opportunity to what's called double down on it. But again, it's just happened again for you. 
Uh, so well done there. What, 300,000 views? Awesome stuff. And let, again, let me stress this is this value here is estimated. This is not necessarily what this video creator is earning. These are just the figures that are based on a um, fixed CPM if every video was monetized. Your publishing schedule seems to be sporadic. This is over the last six months. So you did one in August, then two in September, then three in October. You did two on the same day. So you might want to try and nail down the publishing schedule a little more if possible. I know that's not always possible. A huge subscri subscriber spike here. Look at that. 3,000 subscribers. Well done. We're going to have to find out what's causing that. And maybe we can promote the idea of hitting a trend because it looks Ranjit. like you've hit a trend of Get some reason. Roll. So what Americans know of India, that's your, yeah, you've not got a channel trailer, but this is your most popular video, pos potentially, I assume. So I can understand why it's up there. All ah, right. Here's a good example, a best of Sabi G. So these might not necessarily be your most popular ones, but these are the ones that reflect your channel most, which is brilliant. You've got a very clearly defined thumbnail style here, but the difference between what we were looking at with kids versus dad is that, yes, we've got a similar background, but there are subtle differences, like the flags are changing and we've got a person, a different person every time. So we can see some differences there. So I think the branding is excellent. Again, you may want to add your little uh, avatar somewhere if you wanted to, although it may just blend in with the rest of the thumbnail. But certainly we know that once we've seen one Savvy G, um, Savvy BG, let me get that right, Savvy BG TV video, we can identify clear, clearly with this thumbnail. Now let's look at your videos in particular. And there we can see that's the one that's going uh, viral right now. 300,000 views, brilliant. It's also good to see that you put in captions on there. So good effort going into that. Video length tends to be, oh, it's quite mixed. So we have some between six and 10 minutes and then occasional ones which are shorter or live streams. But I think these thumbnails are, are brilliant and you're using caps lock in some of your titles and it works and i think all these titles are really enticing what pakistani people know about india um americans reaction react reactions to uh that person whose pronunciation i will get wrong so i'm not even going to attempt it let's go to most popular Americans react, what Americans think of Indians. So again, a clearly defined message and value here. We know exactly what, what we're going to get in your video. So when one person watches a video, they enjoy it. They kind of have a, a good sense of what's coming next. What Americans think of Indian food, a classic, I guess, type of title and reaction. And it must be the content that really drives that uh, message forward. Let's uh, jump into your most popular video and look at the intro and see if we can find out why it makes it such a, an enticing video to watch. As long as it's safe. Ranjit. You have to roll the J. Ranjit. <laughs> I swear you Ray. Something Khan. King Khan or something like that. Modi! Okay, so a good example there of quickly cutting between different clips to produce an intro of, what was it, 10 seconds? And then I'm going to guess that your channel intro is going to be very quick as well. Five seconds, so absolutely perfectly. I think you've nailed down the format here really well. And it looks like you're Canadian as well, so hello to a fellow Canadian. I say fellow Canadian, I'm a Brit, but I live in Vancouver. And the, I think this is a, a good keyword that's really doing well. American on India, Americans on India, quiz on India, 
So like these three to four word long tail keywords that are performing well. You've included your own channel keyword in there just to create that consistency. My guess is that you've got some nice creator suggested links there, which means that because you're producing consistent content about a similar message and theme and value, you choose able to identify similar content, package it all together. And because of that, you're getting a lot of views in suggested column, which is where most of the traffic comes from. So again, these are all brilliant things. And I would just say congratulations on your channel, Sabi BGTV, because you're obviously working hard and being in front of a camera and being a personality is obviously a strong point on your channel. And you've just hit another viral video. Uh, let's let's have a look at this recent viral video because that one there was from June. So there might not be an opportunity to capitalize on again. But if we went to newest. So what Pakistani people know about India? I mean, the obvious switch is there. What in, it would be what do Indian people know about Pakistan as a follow up video? Now, that sounds me easy, me suggesting it to you. But I would guess there's a lot of production time that takes place on these. Uh, the video publications are quite sporadic, so it may take you a few weeks to follow up on this. But if I if I could capitalize on this somehow, I would definitely be following up on this theme as quickly as possible, the, the double down effect, um, because you certainly have this what somebody thinks of somebody else theme is something that you're definitely good at. Uh, we've talked about this in previous videos where certain channels can start to dominate keywords such as how big is. And one of the keywords you can certainly look at is what somebody thinks of somebody else. So again, maybe think about that in your future videos. But yeah, I think this is brilliant, Sabi BG. And I hope that many of the people watching the video here can take uh, some key features from here. I guess as a big channel, let's just have a look at your community. You do look as if you're looking at your community tab and your, I like this look. Help Sabi choose a permanent logo. So this is brilliant here. You're asking, you're in, engaging your viewers in it. You're getting some good feedback on that. So yeah, I think this is brilliant work. And it looks as if they picked the bottom one. So many awesome things going on here on Sabi BG. I'll give you a thumbs up. Although you can't see it because I'm not on the webcam. Let's just turn the webcam on. And while I'm doing that... Can I have extra sessions media pick one more channel to review? We've been on now for an hour and 20. And it looks as if each channel review takes 10 to 15 minutes, sometimes 20 minutes. Okay, we have our last channel review. And as I say, I hope that I just missed that um, extra sessions. Can you post it one more, one more time? I think it was AvenGG1 or something, but I just missed the channel as you were posting it. Okay, got it. I th think I have it. Avenged One. It's coming up. And I will just switch to the channel. And we'll just let it up, load up there. Can you just confirm Avenged One that this is your channel? I think it is. Your avatars look similar. My internet's going very slowly now, so I do apologize if it's not going as quick as it was before. But after an hour and a half of live stream, I don't think we're doing too bad here. This channel has 839 subscribers. 38,000 views has been around since 2011. First thing I would do is maybe just tidy up your description a little bit. Uh, one big blocky set of... Uh, text makes it difficult to read 
Um, my name's Avengend1 and welcome to the party. On this channel you'll find videos such as skits, let's play and gaming stupid stuff, even more stupid stuff. Okay, so if you're going to do gaming, uh, let's play, I want to see that more in the uh, channel banner. Because this moon and this name, which I assume is your gamer name, doesn't tell me enough about the channel. Uh, we need to know more about it. And Avengend1, it's... I assume, yeah, I assume that's your gamer tag, so it doesn't tell me enough about the channel. Like I'm, I'm having to go to your description to find out what your channel is about a little bit. So think more about how you can represent your channel with the space that you have. You may want to change your avatar as well, maybe to you, your a uh, face, or you may even want to change your channel name because. I just don't think it's strong enough. But many people have their own gamer tags as their channel names. PewDiePie is a perfect example. But yeah, I'm not i I'm not feeling what the channel's about much yet. What is that perfect? So let's have a look at more at your channel layouts. Reading your comments. I guess that's not a bad video to show newcomers but do you have a channel trailer where you could maybe introduce your channel a bit more uh, might be useful because there's like several strands you're talking about was it let's play skits pranks maybe so might want to see that in a channel trailer uh, I'm liking your thumbnails we'll get back to them your first thumbnail uh, playlist is uploads Again, I'd like to see a, a best of or what represents you as a YouTuber more a little bit. Uh, funny videos, Cuphead. Hey, hey. Thanks for uh, liking the video. But you have got some playlists there. You've got a, a variety of playlists. You've got a lot of playlists with single videos in there. A lot, a lot of playlists. So what this is telling me a little bit is that uh, a lot of them, a lot of these look to be games, and you never stick to one game for uh, that long. And I think that's a lot, of, a big problem that many gamers have. That they they have a, a game, but the longevity of it determines when you switch to another game, and it's difficult to bring in subscribers who stick around and capture an audience when you're constantly shifting from one video, one topic to the other. I agree that's hard, and in the gaming sense, it more becomes about how strong your personality is, and people are going to then come back to watch the videos because of you rather than your games. Maybe you, do, maybe you are doing that in your videos, but it's just because we're now five or six years deep into the maturity of video game YouTube channels. Thumbnails, I really like. I, I can see that you've put a lot of, of effort here into uh, editing them on Photoshop, so there's a nice vibrancy to them. Uh, and you are definitely know how to use a green screen better than me. Uh, the lighting is good on, on these reactions and the stroke. And I can see some of the similar techniques I try on my videos. Uh, like This is a really good thumbnail, working at McDonald's, a reaction face, and you've got the logo in there. And it's clearly identifiable. So just going back to some previous channel reviews in this session where sometimes the subject isn't that clear. The, the, maybe the person's too small or the dog's too small. But in these examples, they are fantastic thumbnails. And I can see that you're putting a lot of effort into those thumbnails. Length tends to be good. Like you're trying to push your videos over 10 minutes or at least 7 minutes. And another thing I'm noticing is your titles are pretty well defined. They're quite short, so they very rarely get cut off. Not sure if many YouTubers know this, that you can do 100 characters in a YouTube title, but after about 40 to 50 characters, they get chopped off. But I can't see any of your videos titles getting chopped off, which is awesome. So there's a lot of fundamental things that look good here. Um, Again, you, 
we we can see that these videos are from one video creator but i guess when you look at this one pure anger cat mario and computer troubleshooting it's very similar design but can if they were just patched together next to each other on your browse page without the channel title would you be able to identify that these are from the same video creator possibly possibly not something to think about and I guess another thing is that looking at your videos let's just ha I'm just going to read off the titles of these top 10 of these these videos pure anger cat mario computer troubleshooting i hate this game youtube partner program ancient middle school currencies the pinnacle of rage cat mario trapped alone working at mcdonald's my elementary school fights getting over it again what is the focus of your channel what is the main theme and is it a little diluted? That may be something to consider. You've done a couple of videos on Cat Mario. Uh, two videos there. And are they going to be any more pop popular than others? Again, not too sure. So, yeah, you're jumping around topics quite a lot. And is that best for the channel? If we look again at your channel banner, I'm not entirely sure who your target audience and what your the value of your video is. Let's have a look at some the most popular videos. See if you can gain anything from here. Okay, we best not click on any of them, but I appreciate that you've um, starred out the profanities. But again, nothing particularly standing out there as a more popular video than any others. Let's, I'm going to click on this video here and just have a look at the intro. Maybe look, have a look at your metadata. What's up, everybody? My name is Avenged One and welcome to Subnautica. See if my internet now, does I'm catch playing up. Now, I'm Snub Nautica. I'm playing Snub Nautica, yes. Now, I just wanted to give a shout out to one of my subscribers, Gabriel. Thank you for being patient and allowing me to actually take my time to get Snub Nautica up and running. I could not get it on my computer. I bought a new computer. So, I'm fairly um, happy with the way you're introducing the video. You're jumping straight into it and you're kind of uh, doing a introduction while the game is playing. And so, viewers have something to look at and react to as you're doing the introduction which is a good thing i don't have any problems with that you are using channel uh lots of video tags as well i won't pretend to know much about subnautica but uh yeah you might want to use a few more longer tail keywords like uh, Subnautica, Let's Play, Aquatic Mysteries, Aquatic Mysteries from Subnautica. Maybe um, put that in, like, if I just do, what, the game's called Subnautica. Let's just see. If there's anything, one of the things you can do here is if you put your keyword in the search and then just go through the alphabet, and you can actually see what sort of keywords being used, like best base location, battery charger fragments before you buy. So there's like interesting long tail keywords that you can maybe look at. Now, I, I, this is quite a long process and you'd have to go through all the words, and, but maybe try some keywords that are connected to your video. So that's another tactic you can try just to uh, find words that better improve your SEO. Uh, Cause your, your, your SEO is, is good in the sense that you've set up quite a lot of things there. But, and again, with a smaller channel, it's much more difficult to get the get the exposure and get up the, the search list. Aquatic Mysteries there. You've only got 11 likes from 1,500 views and only 10 comments. So again, has this been shared externally somewhere? But when you have the opportunity to reply, you're doing that. So generally good. I think 
it's probably I, again we, we can't go through the entire video to see what the quality is like but i'm sure i can see very quickly that you're you have good quality videos and good thumbnails and you're putting effort and time into them and you've just not cracked through yet let's and you've done a lot of videos as well so there may be a thought of and what this is kind of the answer i give when i don't have a, a really good answer for what why this channel's not performing well my thought is that you're probably doing the same thing over and over again and expecting something different to happen and it's not happening for for whatever reason and the, yeah the clear thing i can see from your videos is that there's too many strands maybe to your channel there's not enough focus on one particular thing um so maybe consider that just going forward just experiment maybe pick a pick a, a favorite game that you think is gonna last for six to twelve months and go along with that but Again, we're talking about a, the the video game genre in YouTube, which is so competitive and so difficult to break into. But fundamentally, I think you have the shapings of a good channel. Um, and I think you just need to keep at it. Let me just check how long you've been making videos for. Three years. So you have been working at this for a long time. And you can see here, folks, the, the improvement in thumbnails from where he started is pretty phenomenal as well. It's just, yeah, even even at the beginning, it we have Halo, we have Sega Time, Grand Theft Auto. It just it seems like you're never quite sure where to land your content, and that's a very difficult thing to do in video gaming. I do admit. But best of luck there for you, Avengard Gen Avengend One. And I hope that while people have been watching these videos, you've been giving good feedback and hopefully subscribing to these channels and then maybe you can work together, do some collaborations. I hope that sort of thing is happening in the background. So that's the end of the channel uh, reviews for this episode. I do appreciate everybody who's been taking part and I feel as if this has gone relatively well and I'll appreciate any feedback you want to give me. Uh, the usual things I absolutely forgot to do when I started this live stream was to ask people to share it and smash that like button. But if you could do that now, I would very much appreciate it. And of course, if you want more uh, channel reviews, and I will uh, more than happy to do these on a regular weekly basis, then make sure you pop in. Usually, it's probably going to be at the same time each week. But again, things need to be fixed. Um, so yeah, that, those are just the things I wanted to get off my chest before we move on to some super chats that I saw. And again, big thumbs up to um, Extra Sessions Media and HD Gamer uh, for moderating this. I really appreciate it. Um, you're taking time out of your day just to read comments on vidIQ, which is really appreciated. And wow, there's, there is quite a few super chats here. Uh, so I do just want to mention these um, before before I end. And then I, again, sorry, I can't necessarily do channel reviews from these, but I do appreciate it. So, um, uh, Western, West Bosnia or Bosna Zapa, Zapadna, again, thank you very much for your um, super chat. Uh, he says, I don't need a channel review. That's because we gave him one on Friday. Uh, this is for the beer. Thank you very much. A uh, bit of an inside uh, information here. I actually don't drink. I am what's called teetotal, but I don't drink tea either. But if you want to buy me a Dr. Pepper or something called Iron Brew from the UK, that's very much appreciated. Danny likes pizza. Uh, $2 pizza money from you. Appreciate it. Uh, the local Pizza Hut does a lunch special for $4, so uh, that will 50% towards it. Thank you very much. Uh, Wolfgang Weber, you've done two donations. Maybe you did one by accident because the first one doesn't have any text on it, but $5 for the first one, much appreciated. $10 for the second one, that's the highest super chat we've ever had. And you're asking, I'm an actor here in LA and the show I'm doing on YouTube started blowing up. How could I direct my audience to my channel? Uh, so what you're talking about an audience outside of YouTube, is that? Or the audience currently on YouTube who started seeing your videos? Um, if uh, I guess the simple answer to that would be to use social media like uh, Twitter and Instagram, maybe post clips, little snippets from your YouTube videos on Twitter, because you can only do two and a half minutes. I'm not sure what the limit is on Instagram. But try and use 
other social media. If you know people, you can maybe ask them to share it. But I, I'd have to look at the channel specifically and try and understand if you're trying to bring in an audience from outside of YouTube or not. I'll be doing a live stream on Friday. If you want to pop in there where I do read more of a chat questions, I'll be happy to try and answer that question in a bit more detail. Or maybe we can do a channel review on your channel next week. Uh, since you did Super Chat, maybe just remind me uh, before it uh, happens. But those of the people who did Super Chats, very much appreciated. And as I say, in the future, I'll try and make the Super Chat system a little more involved in the actual channel reviewing. But I, I, I just don't want to limit channel reviews to people who are contributing money at the moment. That doesn't seem fair uh, to what we're doing here. Anyway, I'm going to say... Thank you very much for joining. And uh, if you want to say your goodbyes now, I'll certainly shout them out in the live chat. And I think the format going forward here will be a little like this. I don't necessarily have the time to read your chat as I'm doing the reviews, but I'm hoping that you're talking to each other and having a good conversation. So um, a blocky block seven, goodbye to you. Amanda's allotment. I Maybe uh, moderators, if you could make sure that to remind me that Amanda's allotment is one that I definitely want to do a, a channel review on because I think she's been the MVP in one of the live streams on a Friday. Sabi BG, thank you to you for your excellent channel and a chance to show it off to other users. Kids vs. Dad Gaming, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the channel review. Uh, Daddy's Pizza, I'm not sure if you're still here, but thanks for the pizza. Yes, you are. Bye there. The Doberman Guy. Uh, don't shout this out. Whoops, I don't tend to read the text before I shout them out. Uh, Western Bosnia, goodbye to you. Tichaz, have I pronounced that right? Goodbye to you. MMP Cody, goodbye to you. Wow, there's so many. Uh, Wolfgang Weber, thank you to you. The Teven Show, uh, hey, hey, everyone. I'm not sure if you've just joined, but we're about to say goodbye. Steve W, uh, then, wow, there's so many people in this live chat simulation with daniel thanks and you were the very first uh, reviewer chance to be reviewed Whew. i'm gonna end it now and say thank you very much for watching make sure to hit that uh, like button uh, subscribe and share this to other youtubers who you may think might be interested in a channel review in the future and i'll try and fit as many as i can in 2018 and of course as usual enjoy the rest of your tech day and I'll see you all on the Friday Feeling Hangout.